Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I am journaling about my daughter's birthday, which is on Halloween, but we celebrated on October 30th. And I'm also going to be doing a page on Halloween as well. So I'm just trying to get October finished up so that I can get into the Christmas mode. <laughs> so I'm starting this page off with just some of the tissue paper that came from one of my daughter's presents and I have no idea what I'm doing with this page as of right now and I'm gonna skip a lot because otherwise we'll be sitting here for like three hours while I try to figure out what I want to do with all these pieces but I pulled out all these pieces just for various reasons um, some of them came from the party itself and then others I just I've had forever um, this piece that I'm gluing down now, I think is from the Maggie Holmes carousel collection and she turned seven on her birthday. So I thought that that was, um, kind of neat that I had one through seven, um, on that little piece of ephemera. So I went ahead and glued that down and now I am trying to figure out how I want to make all these colors go together. <laughs> so I pulled out this envelope originally and I thought that maybe I could use that on the page because it matched that Maggie Holmes piece but I don't end up using it. Um, this is a printable trim that I got, I think from Molly's mantle a long time ago. And, um, I just, it just like was perfect to go kind of border along the edge of that tissue paper. So I went ahead and glued that down. And I think that just makes the page a little bit more interesting. And then uh, I'm just going to play around with all of these pieces about 20 times before I finally decide to uh, not use half of them. <laughs> so um, right now I'm trying to figure out if I want to back that photo of my daughter with her cupcake uh, with anything, but I, I end up deciding not to. And um, I just end up gluing it straight down to that page with the tissue paper. And then um, this is like an envelope that I embossed a while back that I kind of messed up on, but I think it's really pretty and it's a nice cream color. I didn't have to tea dye it or anything. And then that is like a little piece of trash <laughs> from her party. And I just glued um, like one of those little maple leaf die cuts or, or, or whatever on top of that. And I just think that's really pretty. So I cut the photo down and I glued it straight down to the page. And this is another piece of packaging from her party. We made little uh, sugar skull cookies. So now I've decided to um, use some washi tape and stick that embossed envelope down the center of this spread and I'm just going to use some double-sided tape to stick down the sugar skull cookie packaging and then I'm going to struggle to figure out how to get all of these colors to kind of go together a little bit better. So I felt like there needed to be something else at the bottom of that page. So I'm, I'm just going to cut down this little piece of ephemera that was um, like a little bit darker of a pink. And I'm going to glue that down in a minute. And then I'm going to play around with a few different things until I figure out what I want to put in that other awkward space. This is some sort of printable that I had from a million years ago. I have no idea where it came from and um, I don't end up using that either. <laughs> like I said, I'm just gonna pull out tons of things um, 
it it took me a long time to pull this page together honestly uh, I'm not really sure some days I'm I'm better at journaling than others you know and um, today was just not one of those days that everything just came super easy and I guess that's a good thing to know it, not everything just falls into place like I want it to originally you know it takes a while for me to figure out where I want to put things um, which I think is the fun of it it's kind of like a puzzle but um, but it's a little scary when you first start and you don't know what you're gonna do to the page you know <laughs> So, um, so yeah, that being said, I, I, not everything just falls into place. I do have to like try things out and decide if I like them. And if I don't, then I just change them out and it's a process. So here I've taken two large project life cards and I've used double-sided tape on three sides and made like a pocket in between them. And then I glued one of my photos down on top of one of the one side of the Project Life card pocket. And then I just used like a little label to stick on there just to kind of make it feel finished. <laughs> and I'm just tucking um, like a little scrap of ledger in there that I can journal on later. So I tucked all of that in the envelope and then I also put um, my daughter's friend's card in there that she got for her birthday. And um, now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do to the top of that other page. I really like the picture on the page and I didn't want to cover it up completely. So I decided that I would put this linen like over the corner of the page. So I'm not covering up very much of that page and it, it all kind of just looks really nice together. So I went ahead and just glued that down. And then I'm going to take my, um, my letter stickers and I'm going to write out happy birthday sissy, which is what we call her. And yeah, um, I'm just sticking a few other little stickers from that set down just to decorate a little bit. And then um, on the front of that envelope where I stapled that um, little piece of trash, <laughs> I'm gonna tuck this, uh, this card in there and it just says October and has the calendar dates on it. So I thought that was cute. And now I'm moving on to the next page. This page is gonna be about Halloween, uh, the day of Halloween. And um, again, I struggle a lot with this page as well. And I go back and forth and try to figure out how I want to make all of these pieces that I've, I've, I've picked out a lot of pieces, but I just kind of need to figure out how to make them all work together. So this little music page I found in my stash and um, one of the songs is called The Witch. And I thought that was really cute for Halloween. So I went ahead and used my washi tape and stuck that down as another page in the journal. So I'm just using some wide washi tape to stick down both sides of that music page. And these are all things that I printed off that I thought would be cool to put in the spread. Um, and they do all end up making it into the spread, but it takes me a while <laughs> to figure out how I want them to work together, um, to figure out where I want to put them all. So this is like a little coin pouch uh, printable that I thought was really cool. And I just like the pattern of it. And then I printed this little piece off smaller than the coin pouch so I could fit it inside of there. And then this linen has like um, some pretty fall colors and leaves on it. So I decided to go ahead and stick that down. And then I pulled it right back up and stuck it down somewhere else because like I said, I can't make decisions today.
um, I did decide to go ahead and stick this coin pouch over the edge of that page. I just like little flip outs. Um, I seem to have been doing that a lot lately, just having like little tip ins and flip outs and um, I don't know why, just kind of, I just like it right now. <laughs> so this page, I decided that I was going to take one of these Tim Holtz chipboard frames and I was going to frame this, um, this vintage tin type, um, or I guess it's antique. What is antique? A hundred years? <laughs> so this is a really old tin type. Um, and it has these two girls on it and I guess they're sisters or something, but they're so creepy looking. <laughs> so I went ahead and stuck that down just kind of as a decorative piece because I think that's really cool. And I've been hoarding these tin types for years now. Um, it's just not something I want to put in a journal. I, I appreciate history in a different way. And, um, so I, I have a hard time putting like certain things in journals. <laughs> So yeah, I've been holding on to those for a while. And then I decided to cover up the back of that witch music paper because it was a different song and um, it just didn't really fit with the overall theme. And um, I really liked this green paper next to that page with the, the uh, tin type photo. So I went ahead and stuck that down um, just on three sides with some double sided tape. So I have a pocket in between that paper and the music paper. And I'm just using a little bit of washi tape to reinforce that um, down the center. And so now I'm trying to figure out what I want to do to this little teeny page here. And I decided that I wasn't going to do anything specific to it. So I would just glue it straight down to the green page I just stuck down. So I'm cutting down the bottom half of that because it was longer than the page um, that I'm gluing it down to. And I just glued that down with some, um, with my glue stick. And then I decided I would put this little picture of the cat on top of that page just as a decorative piece. And this is just a little bit of ribbon that says Halloween. And that is really all I do to that page. I think that page just looks really nice without anything else. So I stuck that little ribbon down with some double sided tape. These two little tags are from the kids Halloween costumes. And um, so I, I kind of wanted to include them in there just because it's like some real ephemera from my life. So I took a picture of them posing in their costumes and I'm just cutting it down so that um, I can separate the two because it was kind of a big picture for such a small area and now I'm just gonna fiddle around with those forever until I figure out where I want to put them So I ended up sticking a card that I got from Sticky Club into that uh, pocket, that large side pocket on the left. And um, now I'm just playing around with some of the other pieces that I printed off again and trying to see if I can make any of this work together. <laughs> I thought that it would be cool to maybe back one of these printables with some of this gold paper, but I decide not to in the end. Um, I pulled out that postcard. Um, I guess it's from a cut apart sheet and I just love the way that looked with the butterfly um, printable. So I just glued those. Um, I glued the butterfly printable right on top of the postcard. And then I decided I would put that piece of um, it's like a ledger paper cut apart from a paper pack 
down at the bottom of that page. And I just went ahead and glued that down. And that'll give me a little bit more writing space for that page. And then I really liked this picture of um, the people with pumpkin heads <laughs> trick-or-treating. So I put that down and then I, I used like a black label sticker on that page as well, just to kind of pull the black into that page. And then I went ahead and committed to sticking these um, tags down to that side of the photo as well. Now I'm pulling out this piece again. And I decided that I would make it into like a little booklet so I could do a little bit more journaling in there. And I was thinking that I could put the pictures of my kids in there since they're so small. So um, yeah, this will just serve as like the rest of my journaling space. So I cut down several sheets of paper and stuck them straight into the book. And I just stapled them along the edge of that little booklet. Um, it's just easier. Um, I could have went in and sewn straight down the middle, but um, I was not feeling particularly excited about that. So yeah, I just stapled it. It's not a big deal. If I were making it for somebody else, I probably would have sewn it, but um, for me, I don't really care. So uh, so yeah, that that just gives me like 10 little pages that I can use to do some more journaling. So I went ahead and stuck my kids photos in there and I will stick a couple more things in there, um, which you'll see when I do the final flip through and I'll do a little bit of journaling in there as well. So this little piece that I have there, I do end up putting in my little booklet. It's just a piece from an old calendar, um, but I really like the little jack-o'-lantern on the front. So um, I do end up putting that in the little booklet in a minute. And then this is a label uh, from some printable, I can't remember. And it has like specimen number on it and it's just, it's got like a skull on it. It's kind of creepy. So I thought that that would be cute on the page as well. So I just stuck that over the ledger paper on the left side. And then I stuck that um, little jack-o'-lantern picture on the very first page of my little booklet. And yeah, then I stick that back into the um, um, coin envelope. And then this is another um, trim printable from Molly's Mantle. And I just glue that down along the edge of that picture of the the uh, pumpkin heads trick-or-treating and now I'm going in with some of my stickers these stickers are from sticky club um, I think I used one pack from last year and one pack from this year but I think those are the only two stickers that I actually used out of the sticky club pack and then this sticker came from a different pack um, and it says trick-or-treat on it and it's like a little banner which I have such a hard time using the banner stickers because I feel like they need something else with them. So I moved that sticky club sticker just to fit the banner sticker in. <laughs> and then this is a label sticker I stuck down at the bottom of that tin type photo. And another one of those banner stickers that I'm struggling to find a place for. And yeah, those are the finished spreads. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm so glad we caught up with Halloween and I'm excited to get into the Christmas season now. Um, I hope you all are doing well and I am working on editing the washi tape video now. So I plan on having that done um, hopefully by the end of next week. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.